Hey guys, it's me, Janique618, also known as Janique Sim618, and I'm here to do my Walking Dead Supply Dropbox um, unboxing. So, I'm already wearing the shirt that comes in the box. This is what the box looks like. It's got Michonne and Vic on it. And um, some gross zombies, walkers on it. Super gross. And the shirt, it says TWD. It's got Rick over here. And then you got Carol, Michonne, Daryl, and Maggie, the OG gang. So we got the OG gang right here. I love these shirts so much. I wear them all the time. I wear them to bed. I wear them outside. I wear them everywhere. I love them. I get mines in a men's because I like the men's shirts better than women's. Um, I buy, I get mines in a men's extra large. I'm a big girl, so I get mines in a men's extra large shirt. Um, which I like. I like the sleeves being like longer and stuff. It's extra large men's. Fits me perfectly. So yeah, I don't like tight shirts like that. I mean, sometimes, but not really. So yeah, this is a nice shirt here, The Walking Dead. With, you know, Rick, like everyone's all red and like bloody looking. It's a really good picture of the OG gang. Love it so much. And if you're up to date with The Walking Dead, you already know what happened to Rick. So, but anyway, this is what it's like when you open it. Got a walker hand sticking out the top. It's got a paper, let me take out the paper, and of course, I'm wearing the shirt, but the shirt was in here, but I took it out, I'm wearing it. So, this is the paper, the big like poster with everything that you get in the box. So this is a nice little way to show everything, display everything, nice big like poster style paper. It's really, really, really nice. Rick bobblehead. It's a Rick bobblehead wearing his iconic beige shirt and it has a quote on the back, no matter what happens, it's human nature to come together. That's what he said in his last episode. Yeah. That's what we said in this last episode. But yeah. Um this is the big bobble I already opened it of course, so I already know what it looks like. But um I'm about to put it up there. With all my other walking dead stuff. I have a whole like shrine up there over my TV. When you open them up, there's a plastic, um, a plastic bag. A plastic bag covering him and also like a little like neck thing, like a thing to wrap up around his neck. So he's not like this when you open him. When you first get when you first get him, he's wrapped up in plastic and some other stuff to keep him safe. But I already opened it, so that's why he looks like that. But there's Rick. Um Yeah, so that's my boy Rick. Bobblehead. Let me see his bobblehead. Let me see him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a really great bobblehead. It's super like strong. It's heavy. He's holding his mace. He's got a hatchet on the side. He's got a hatchet right there. He's got a gun. His gun over here. His boots, his jeans, his watch. His nice gray, sexy little beard. He's looking good. Real good. He's super cute. Like, I love him. So that's Rick right there. Nice hair. Everything good. Say hi, Rick. Where's Carl? Anyway, so there's that. Nice little bit for your collection. I'm definitely going to put them right up there with the rest of my stuff after I'm done with this video.
Um, for now, I'll put him back there. <laughs> he could be part of the video right there. Okay. So next is this is the Stein. Um, from Hilltop. It's a big old, big old glass. Put the Hilltop there. Super big. It's a really nice cup. It's really, it's super heavy. It's real glass. Super heavy. It's like so heavy. It's crazy. <laughs> but that's that. Put that next to Vic. And then we have. There are three more items in here. I will show you the next coolest thing, which is this post-apocalyptic survival tool. And basically what it is, is a real tool inside. That's what it looks like. It's a real tool. Like, it's for real, for real. Um, when you open it, like that comes in a little case like that and when you take it out be careful it's kind of heavy and this is the tool it is a real tool isn't that cool so it's super heavy too let me just show you what everything is. Put it up a little bit. Okay. There's a little card, but the picture tells you what everything is. So the first thing, the can opener is okay. The can opener is this. So this right here, this piece, this right here, is a can opener. The knife edge is this this is a knife edge right here it's not sharp but this is a knife edge so you can see like the edge of the knife type thing so it's like a very it's not sharp but it's a nice little knife edge for i don't know what you would cut with this but i'm sure it works pretty well so that's a knife edge then you have the screwdriver the driver's right here. I don't know if you can see it. The screwdriver is right there on the corner. So, screwdriver. Then the ruler. The ruler's right here. See the lines. Ruler. Bottle opener. Right there. This whole big rectangle is the bottle opener. Open the bottle. Then you have four position wrench for various size nuts and bolts heads. That is this right here. These is a this is a um a wrench. This whole thing right here is a wrench with four different sizes. So you have the biggest size, the next one, the next one, and the smallest one. So this is a wrench to you know unscrew things. If you don't, if it's not a screwdriver, you have a wrench. Then you have a butterfly wrench, which is this long piece here. Butterfly wrench, right there. Don't know what that is, but hey, it's right there. Butterfly wrench. Um, saw blade. The saw blade's right here. Pretty sharp, actually. Saw blade. So you can like. Saw something. <laughs> I don't know what. But yeah, look at that. Saw blade. Pretty cool. It's pretty sharp. It's actually pretty sharp. I think the saw blade is sharper than the knife. Because this is the knife edge. Like, this is the knife edge. It's not sharp. I think the saw blade is sharper. Um, A directional inkler. I am not spelled this. How to say this? Ankler, ankle, and I can't read. Ancillary, ancillary indicator. 
which is the circle right here, is the direct directional ang ancillary indicator. And then there's a two position wrench right here. This is even smaller than this wrench, okay? So this one right here has two different size wrenches. Right there. Very cool. And then the hole in the corner is a lanyard hole or a key ring hole. So you can put this on your keys, which I am going to do and keep it on my keys. So it's a lanyard hole, lanyard, lanyard hole key ring. I'm definitely going to put this on my key ring. But I, gotta, I guess you would keep it in here. Because you don't want to keep this. I have this hanging out loose. It kind of might be dangerous. It might hurt you. Like hurt you. Because it is kind of sharp. Um, And it's a real tool. This pin. Collectible enamel pin. And this they only made 500. They only made 500 of these pins. 500. That's it. 500 pins. So if you're not part of the walking dead supply drop box. You will not see these. I don't think they sell these in the store and on the Walking Dead store. I doubt it. I mean, maybe they do. But it says it's a collectible enamel pen. It's 500 me. Holds. Um, yeah, it says. Hold on. Oh, Cold Steel Edition. Find the rate individually numbered to only 500. So, yeah, I think. I think. The only thing I don't know you get it from the store. They do have a Walking Dead store online. I don't think they sell them online. So that could be wrong. But this is the pen. It says the future belongs to all of us now. Rick. Pen right there. The future belongs to all of us now. Rick but the mace. Well not Rick, but the mace right there. Nice. That's the back. I guess it doesn't have the number on here. But that's fine. Um and then the last thing is super cool. Um because you get what five items? One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Um it's really cool. If you look at this box. It looks like it's empty, right? It looks like it's done. It looks like looks like the box is done, but it's actually not done. It is a secret underneath this, which is really cool. So if you see, so it looks like dirt. Looks like dirt. But if you take this out, secret compartment, you get a picture. With everybody there. And you can put your Rick guy right here. Here we got that. Pop up. It's a big box. And you can put Rick right there. Kind of cool, right? You can put a Rick with his crew. If you want to do that, but I probably won't do that because it's so this box is so freaking huge. But yeah, you can put Rick. In the box with his crew, and it's really kind of cute there. And that's that. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you, besides the picture and the bottom of the box, is this. This is the dirt. <laughs> See the dirt? Flip it over. Secret compartment. So basically. This is, this is what it looks like. It's a nice, like, leathery type folder. The Walking Dead, episode 901, A New Beginning. It's nice. Look at that. You see the Walking Dead there. It's shiny. Let me open it. Wait, wrong way. It looks like that. So, this is a, um, authentic 
excerpt from the script, episode 901, a new beginning. This is a piece of the script, not a whole thing, but a piece of it. So it's really cool. It's got um a little letter here to the Walking Dead fan. It's got the cast list on this page with everyone's name. Rick Angel Rick as Angel uh, Andrew Lincoln as Rick, Norman Reedus as Daryl, Melissa Susan McBride as Carol, Laura Cohen as Maggie, Denai Guerrero as Michonne, and on and on and on. And um, then you have the cast list, then you have the set list. Like, so you have the cast on this side, the set list on this side of like how, so for the episode, what they needed for their set, um, like the location. So, they, so in that episode one, they have were at the museum. They were at the museum, on different levels of the museum. They were at Hilltop. They were at Sanctuary. And Alexandria. And I think that's it. So that's really cool. And then you just turn the page. And you can see the little script. With everything from part of what happened in 901. So that's really cool. With Miss Angela King's um, handwriting there. Her notes. And then when you go to the back of the scripts. That is an authentic um a, a certificate a certificate of authenticity um official the walking dead script replica this official document certifies the script excerpt from 901 episode 901 new beginning is an authentic replica um amc the walking dead supply drop exclusive so this is the certificate of authenticity for this replica of the script for episode 901. It's pretty cool. So it's not like it's like the exact thing, but it's a replica of it. I did go on my Facebook account and I and I I basically Facebook lived me watching that episode. So like I, I had my thing on Facebook Live. On my computer, or I'm watching the, the the show on my TV, which is right behind my right there. So I'm watching the episode while I'm Facebook living. So every time something happened, like I got every emotion on that those videos. So I will have that forever in my Facebook live history to look back on when, like it's just like I was like like every emotion, like happy, sad, crying. Like everything, like surprised everything. Like it was amazing. Like Rick's last episode was amazing. Like it was the best episode ever. Like it was so good because you you know like when when a character when an actor leaves the show or when a character dies in the show, it's because when a character dies in the show, it's because the writers wrote them off they wrote them to die like they wrote them so the character to die so the actor has to leave the show basically non-voluntarily so when a character dies off the show that's it they're done with the show but with an act when an actor decides to leave the show because of personal issues personal things going on um of course andrew lincoln wanted to be with his family he wanted to you know, he's been on the show for almost 10 years. So, obviously, he's getting tired. He wants a break. He wants to be with his family. And that's totally understandable. I'm a mom. I have a nine-year-old son. If I was an actor, an actress, I would have a hard time with a job like this as well. But Andrew Lincoln is so amazing and so good. I'm glad that he voluntarily walked off the show or left the show instead of being written to die <laughs> because that leaves the open an open ended path like it, it leaves an open ended like future so like because he is still here he's still Rick Grimes is still 
alive and in the Walking Dead universe, he can come back. Like, even if he's gone for like a year or two years, like in the real world. And, you know, even if he takes a, takes a long break, he could still come back into the Walking Dead show and return. Like, I mean, they could do that if he wants to come back to the show maybe years from now they could do that like he could do that because he's so amazing um i know that they said that they were gonna have like three walking dead movies with rick Grimes in it so he's still gonna be working with amc obviously um because he had three movies um they said that's gonna that's going to go into um the story more, like Rick Grimes' story and like other people's stories more. So that would be really cool to have to see three movies with hopefully Rick Grimes in it. Um, even if they're like flashbacks and it's not like him being there really, but they're like if it's a flashback of him or something. Either way, it'll be awesome to see Rick Grimes in a, in a Walking Dead movie. Um, so hopefully he's not done with AMC The Walking Dead forever. Hopefully he'll come back eventually after he rests and goes on vacation and enjoys himself and, you know, just relaxes. And then hopefully he'll come back and do the movies and hopefully he'll come back later on in the coming years to come back as Rick Grimes, hopefully. But I'm really glad that they didn't kill him in the show. That's really awesome. I'm really happy about that because... That would have been, that would have been horrible. Like, thank God he's not dead. And, like, for real, for real. End the show. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop talking now because this video is really long. I'm going to have to cut it a lot. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed my Walking Dead Supply Drop Box um, video. My unboxing. And my little talk about how much I love the show. And I love Angel Lincoln. So yeah, um, I hope that he gets a well-deserved rest. And um, I know another another actress is also leaving the show. I won't talk about that right now. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but I know that another actress actress is leaving the show. Um, because she's doing another movie, right? Yeah, she's doing another movie. I guess this year or next year. Probably this year. I think I think it's this year. She's doing another movie, so she's like she's like she's like, she's a main character in a big movie. So she's leaving the show to do that. So that's two awesome actors that are leaving the show. But hopefully they both come back. <laughs> I hope because that's two main characters leaving and. There to the other actress that's leaving, the other actress that's leaving. She's a main character. She's from. She was well. She wasn't there since day one because she. I think she came in at season two. I could be wrong. I think she came in season two. I believe. I think. I could be wrong though. But she's still part of the OG gang. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to. Put my stuff away now. Put my put my Rick where he belongs next to my Carl Grimes pop character. <laughs> I have the Carl Grimes pop character from the last Walking Dead box. Um, so I'm going to put Rick with his son. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And yeah, so happy Thanksgiving. Have fun. Enjoy your food and family and friends and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.